<laughs> Yo, sheesh, and welcome back to one channel. And this is Channel Rack 101. We got Stunner, the Channel Rack King, in the building. He's gonna take y'all through some uh, some of the techniques, and I'm gonna uh, add in some uh, tidbits as I see fit. But uh, go ahead and take it away. Yeah, so we're in the mixer, right? Actually, we're in the channel rack, and then in the background, we have our mixer. When you're mixing stuff in FL Studio, you want to choose the correct channel route. So, like, for example, you can see it moving in the background, 4 goes to 4, 5 goes to 5. But sometimes it would be a pain making these go to, like, whatever number that you want it to. Like, it's just a big pain if you ask me. So really, you could reset this and just have them going to nothing. And the other pain about being in the mixer is you don't really know what insert one, two, or three is, even though you have the songs there. So this is like a little move that I learned is that you can like click once. Okay, so make sure if this is just the only one connected, you click right there and then all these will be green. And then you go back to the mixer, you right click, you go to channel routing, and since they're all selected, you can route selected channels starting from this track. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna give each one of these inserts a name, and then it's gonna give them all a number associated. So now, if you click it around, you can see clap goes to clap, number two, two, all the way to seven. Mixing made easy. Made yeah. easy. <laughs> you can do all your mixing, add all your effects here. Anything you want to add? Um, no, I mean, let's see. As far as channel rack, um, so if you have, and this is channel rack and a little, and, and mixing, but this is mixing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Explain this stuff again. <laughs> you want to tackle that? Ex that ex explain that heat. Uh, I mean, it, it's in the channel rack. Channel rack. Okay. This, this is yeah, channel so rack 101. The other thing you can see in the channel rack is the way your notes come out. So the notes have looked like this since like the very beginning of FO. But you can also go into the piano roll overview and you can switch it so you can see all the notes. So for example, if I put a bunch of notes in here, you can overview it and then you can see the piano roll. I actually like working in this view so you can see everything like vibing. But if you click that again, it'll switch back to the, what is this? What is this actually called? <laughs> uh, Interactive step sequencer versus piano roll overview. Yeah. And yeah. another thing you can do. I, I would say, th I would like, say this mode, yeah, would be, would be more useful for just like, like percussion patterns yeah but at the same time like it, that is pretty cool yeah and another thing you can do is you can change all the velocities the releases panning xy shifts the notes from this little blue button which is a graph editor and the older fls you know this is almost like a, a like a mobile fl like that's what that reminds me of like you can do so yeah. much in that like little area yeah, in the piano roll, like if you're working on the piano roll and you're changing note velocities, you can change them back here. But what you can also do is you can go into your graph editor and change them right here and you can see how they both link up. So it's just like an easy way of doing it and then you can change your panning too. So it goes left to right. It, it'll make it sound funky, it won't be stale, like almost like it's live. So anything you want to add? No, that's that's really cool and that's pretty advanced uh, knowledge and like basic knowledge. So uh, subscribe on that note. Yeah. Hit that uh, subscribe. Hit the subby. Dope. Good video. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. We got Stunna Flex in the building. Peace out. <laughs>